Nice to see all of you again. Well, everybody, have you ever had just one of those days? You know, just one that you just don't understand what you see all the time. Well, today I was going to eat lunch at the only place that my salary could afford, okay? McDonald's. It's kind of puny. Yes, I know. And, well, I was going in there, and I noticed something on the door. And, well, I just wanted to show it to you real quick. Okay, can you guys roll the tape for me real quick? Okay, now there I am. I'm about to go in there, and right there on the door, right there, Okay, yeah, okay, I got my camera, and get a shot of that. It says, seeing eye dogs aloud. Well, I figured, well, something's up with this, so I want to go investigate this. So we decided to go on in. Yeah, okay. Now, we had to go ask the manager before we could do all this. It was one of those normal things. Now, over there to the left, I'm, I can see, and I couldn't even see this. Right there to the left, there's a sign. And it said, okay, he had to focus a little bit, get it ready. And right there, it says, Braille and picture menus available. I figured, what was the point? Why, why do they need this? Well, anyway, after lunch, I decided to go back to the office. You know, work pretty hard. Okay, actually, I washed a little bit of OJ leftovers. You know, little tidbits of OJ so you don't get OJ withdrawal symptoms. Well, I noticed something that they didn't tell you when they reported about his acquittal and his uh, not being guilty and such. It's what he said to Marsha Clark. Well, right here, Right now, on the bro show, I'm going to tell you what she said, okay, or what he said. He goes, Marsha, I need my hat and glove back, please. Uh, okay, okay. No more OJ jokes. Well, right now, I've got to... <coughs> hold on. <coughs> I, hold on. Got to drink some OJ. <sighs> okay. Well, on the show tonight, we've got everybody's favorite, oldest professional boxer, George Foreman. And... We've also got the king of, the king, where's that the cue card? Uh, somebody fired the cue card, kid. Okay, I'll let you know as soon as I know exactly what's going on, what our next guest will be, or who our next guest will be, okay? Well, come on, let's go ahead and take a seat here. Now, right here in front of me, I have a copy of tonight's top five list from our post office in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Tonight's top five are the top five people that Mr. Larry Powell of the Bossier Parish Community College looks like. Number five, he looks like Bubba or Buck, some kind of hunter guy that we found off of magazine somewhere. He looks pretty cool and looks just like him. Number four, an old Cabbage Patch kid. He looks just like him. It's kind of scary. He's got the dimples. He, uh, he's got a little bit less hair, but it kind of works for him. Number three, he looks like British comedian Benny Hill. Unfortunately, we don't have a, co you know, a sh shot of Mr. Benny Hill, so we use what we had here in the studio. Number two, he looks like Roger Ebert from Cisco and Ebert. Threw on the glasses, perfect match. And the number one person that Mr. Larry Powell looks like is the Pillsbury Dough Man. Now, it's amazing how he looks like that, especially when you punch his tummy and he goes, <laughs> Well, after these brief messages, we'll be right back with my first guest, George Foreman. Stay tuned, everybody. <laughs> Just to tell you, that's all. 